Hello, this presentation is going to be about how you can learn to identify different types of leaves based on their characteristics. So every leaf has a very specific set of characteristics that is unique to that leaf. And you can use these characteristics to help you identify and tell the difference between different types of leaves. The first characteristic of a tree that you need to be able to recognize is whether or not the tree is alternate or opposite in terms of its branching. So the branching pattern is how the leaves actually come off the branch. So the first option is alternate branching pattern. And if a tree has alternate branching, it means that one leaf comes off on the right, one comes off on the left, one's on the right, one's on the left, and so forth. It alternates back and forth. If a tree has opposite branching, that means that the tree come, the leaf comes off the right and the left of the branch in the same place. So the leaves are opposite each other, like this, on the branch. The three trees that are have the opposite branching pattern are the mad trees. So this is going to be maple, ash, and dogwood. Maple, ash, and dogwood are three that have opposite branching. So if you see a tree with opposite branching, it's probably a maple, ash, or dogwood. Everything else is alternate. The next characteristic that you need to understand for a leaf is whether or not it's simple or compound. So a simple leaf is if you were to draw a cartoon picture of a leaf when you were growing up, you probably drew something that just looked like a normal simple leaf right here. So a simple leaf means that it has one leaflet per leaf. A compound leaf is when it has multiple leaflets per leaf. So each of these leaflets is a separate leaflet, but it makes one leaf all together. And the way you can tell the difference between if you're looking at a simple leaf or a compound leaf is where the location of the axillary bud is. So down here at the bottom of the leaf is going to be a place where the new leaf would form. Like when the leaf falls out in, when the leaf falls off in the fall, and a new one sprouts, it comes out of the axillary bud. And the axillary bud is located at the bottom of the leaf. So if you were looking right here, you would not see an axillary bud because you're looking at the bottom of one leaflet, not the bottom of a leaf. The next characteristic to keep in mind is the margins of the leaf, or what do the edges of the leaf look like? So the edges of the leaf are either going to be smooth, and that is called entire. So if it is nice, smooth edges, then it's called entire. It can have a slight wave to it, in which case it's called wavy. Finely toothed means it has itty bitty, teeny, tiny little teeth. Tiny teeth that are so small that if you look at it from far away, you might think that it's entire, but when you look at it close up, you can tell, oh, those are actually little teeth. Coarsely toothed has much more pronounced, bigger teeth. So if you can actually see the teeth, the differences between the teeth even from far, then that's probably coarsely toothed. Doubly toothed means that the teeth have teeth. So it's got bigger teeth, and each of those bigger teeth has teeny little teeth. Those are the ones that we're really going to be focusing on in this um, course. The next characteristic is the leaf veination. The veination of the leaf is how the veins come onto the leaf. So the veins is how the water is distributed through the whole tree, from the roots of the tree, up the stem, and out to the leaves. And so the veins are carrying the water, and they also carry sugar back down to the roots. That's made in the leaves back down to the roots. So arcuate veins are ones that curve up towards the tip. So you can see as the vein comes up, they're curving up towards the tip. Palmate veins are ones that start in one location and branch out all from one location. So it's like your fingers coming out of your palm, palmate. So you've got fingers that branch up out of your palm. The other one that you need to be familiar with in this class is pinnate. Pinnate veins go straight out to the sides. They come from the middle and go straight out to the sides, as opposed to those arcuate ones, which curve up towards the tip. So that's the veins. 
The next characteristic that you need to know is the base of the leaf, what the base looks like. So cuneate means that it's triangular at the bottom. Obtuse means that it's rounded. Chordate means it comes up in the middle. Truncate is straight across. And oblique happens when the parts of the leaf don't actually add up. So one side don't actually match up. One side of the leaf comes in up here, one side of the leaf comes in here, and they don't, they're not right next to each other, they're kind of offset. That's oblique. So here are some common leaves that you might find outside, and we're just going to go through the characteristics and practice figuring out how you can tell the characteristics of a leaf. So this first one is northern red oak. And the first question is, is it opposite or alternate? First of all, I've told you it's an oak. And if you remember, the mad trees are the ones that are opposite. So maple, ash, dogwood are the ones that are opposite. So that's our first clue that it's probably going to be alternate. But even if you didn't remember that, you can look at where these leaves are coming off of the branches in this picture. And you can see one's on this side, one's on this side, one's on this side, one's on that side. They're alternating back and forth, so this one is alternate. The next question is, is it simple or compound? This is one leaf. So because of that, it is simple. The next question is the margins. So you can say two things about that. First of all, you've got these larger lobes that the leaf is broken up into. So that means that this is a lobed leaf because it has those larger sections. But the other thing you can say is that it has teeth. So you see it has these teeth right here on each of the lobes are toothed. So you can say that it's lobed or coarsely toothed. The venation type is the veins and what pattern they make. So here's the mid vein right here and you've got veins coming off and these are going out to the side. They're not going up to the top, they're going straight out to the side. So this is going to be penny. Now you have the base type. So the base type is what shape is formed at the bottom. And I would say that this is pretty triangular in shape. That's going to be cuneate. And there's northern red oak. This next one is dogwood. So first of all, is it opposite or alternate? Because I've already told you it's a dogwood, maple ash dogwood, mad trees. You can probably correctly guess that it is opposite. But look at this picture here. You've got you've got branches that are coming off or leaves that are coming off the branch right next to each other. Here's another one. So because they're coming off right next to each other, it is opposite. This right here is one leaf. So because of that, we know it's simple. The margin type in this picture, it looks pretty wavy. It's in, so you could say entire, or you could probably say wavy in this one. I'm going to say wavy. Now the veins are definitely going up towards the tip of the leaf. So that means they are arcuate. And the base type, again, is triangular. That's going to be cuneate. There's dogwood. Next, we have American beech. So if you look at this picture down here, you can tell one comes off on the right, one's on the left, one's on the right, one's on the left. So this one is alternate. This picture shows one leaf, so we know that it's simple. The margin type, you can definitely see the teeth here. It's got teeth, and you can see the difference between them. They're very, um, they're larger teeth. So this is going to be coarsely toothed. The venation, it starts in the middle and goes straight out. So because of that, it's pinny. And the base type is pretty rounded. So we're going to say that's obtuse. There's American beach. Next, we have ash. Now, this one, I only gave you the picture of one leaf. So right now, this whole thing, this whole picture is one leaf. That tells you automatically that it's compound. Now, I didn't give you another leaf to see how it's coming off of the branch, but this would be where the branch would be here. There would be a branch right here. And I'm just going to tell you that the other leaf would be coming off right here. 
You could have guessed that because maple, ash, dogwood, it's one of the mad trees, so it is in fact opposite. The margin type, if you look really closely, you can see there are itty bitty, teeny tiny teeth. It's not completely smooth, it's really small teeth, so this is finely toothed. The veins are going straight out. That's going to be tiny. And the base is triangular. That's going to be tiny. There is ash. And our last one is elm. So elm, first of all, you can see in this picture, one goes to the left, one goes to the right, one goes to the left, one goes to the right. So that is alternate. This whole picture is one leaf, so we know it's simple. The margin, it has teeth, but then you notice those teeth have even littler teeny tiny teeth. So this one's doubly teeth. The veination type, it goes straight out to the side. It's not curving up to the top, so that means it's pinny. And the bottom, look at this weird bottom. You have one side that attaches up here and one that's down here. So that means the bottom is oblique. So that's elm. Now, what I'm going to need you to do is go to edulastic.com and you're gonna use these notes as a reference and basically just do a little activity where you're sorting pictures of leaves into the different categories. Is it pinnate or palmate? Is it finely toothed or coarsely toothed? And you're just gonna move and drag and drop pictures into the right categories. In this Elton's class, you guys should already have an account, but if you don't or you can't remember how to do it, um, you can use the codes provided here for block three and block four. Miss Mullane's class, go ahead and use the block four code and complete the leaf characteristics quiz that is there. Remember, you can use these notes as reference and you should log in using your Office 365 account that you already used to log in at school.